、うう、う、う、あ。I feel like I should be doing something. ば、あ、ば。Hello, everyone! Welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use NASA's API to get the image of the day and what it is, the very long description about it, and who took it. It's surprisingly easy, and this API is so awesome. I like it a lot. So, let's get started. Alrighty, so to get started, you're gonna need to get yourself an API key, because this is one of those APIs that does that. It's really not any trouble, you know? You just go to api.nasa.gov. And you'll find yourself on this website right here. And you just want to scroll down until it says get your API key. Type in your name, your email, click sign up, and you will immediately get an API key that you can use. Then you just got to have it ready for this video. Super easy. I got mine already, so I'm not going to demonstrate. All right, once you got that done. Pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. I'm using this COD editor. It's a text editor for Mac, which I like. You already know that probably. Alrighty. And I'm gonna quickly save this, even though I haven't done anything, just so that um it has the the HTML colors. Because, like, things in quotes will be a certain color, and it won't do that unless it knows what kind of file it is. So, I'm going to call it NASA underscore API dot HTML. Such a creative name. I know. Save. That's that. Alright, so start with a doc type tag. Exclamation mark doc type HTML. Alright, and I'm going to give the page a title. Because why not? NASA API demo. Such a creative title, I know. And, ooh, you're also going to want to have jQuery. So, you know, yeah, you're going to want to have your API key in one spot and jQuery script in the other. You're going to use jQuery first. Alright, and while you weren't looking, I quickly grabbed my jQuery script source because I realized that I would need it before the API key. I know, right? I love doing things when you're not looking. Okay, so first start with the output setup. div id equals and in quotes output Actually, you don't even need to give this div an ID, but I felt like it, so I did. And inside it, I didn't want to have a div tag, because like that's redundant. So, the thing I like about HTML is that if you make up a new tag that without a name, it'll just be like a P tag. So, thing just made out this tag off the top of my head id equals and in quotes this one you do need i'm gonna call it img for image and since thing is in an actual html tag you'll see that it's not being colored blue but this will it will work and then close that slash thing we're gonna be putting things inside these tags with javascript soon all right, p id equals and in quotes uh, copyright. Copyright. That's a longish word. It's not actually that long a word, but I don't want to type it. I don't like typing words, anyways. That was random. Slash p. Um, and h1. It's like a big heading because we have a title. Id equals and Wowzers, what a surprising ID! Title. I know, right? 
and close that tag slash h1 and one more thing inside this div p id equals and in quotes explanation and close that p tag and what that does is it sets up the place where the javascript is going to be putting the results because the result changes every single day super cool super cool and oh close the div tag yeah yeah you're gonna want to do that the big mistake you can make is not closing your tags it will screw up your code all right all right next i'm gonna make a script tag script src equals and paste in the url to jquery because yes we're going to be making a get request to a server that isn't our own so we need jquery i know right i don't like jquery very much but sometimes you gotta use it all right let's close that script tag and now you're gonna want to have your api key so when you're not looking again, let me grab mine. And again, you saw nothing because I cut it out of the recording. <laughs> All right. So open a script tag. Ready for the JavaScript. Open up that script tag and uh, immediately we're using jQuery. Dollar sign dot ejax. So, make a get request, open parenthesis, right here, and open curly braces. And on the next line, URL, colon, and then in quotes, here's the fun part, https colon slash slash api dot nasa dot gov slash planetary slash apod question mark api underscore key equals and paste in your api key Whew. don't worry i'll put a link to that in the description cuz yeah typing in urls is not fun comma comma success Success colon function. I always spell function wrong. Make note that today I did not. But I'll spell it wrong later. Open curly braces. What you got. So, what you got is a variable with the data in it. Close parentheses. And open curly braces. Alrighty, and on the next line, documents dot get element by ID open parentheses and in quotes IMG. You know this tag way up here. Dot inner HTML capital HTML equals and I'm gonna tell you what's inside the quotes but remember this is my favorite JavaScript command I use it like every single day all right inside double quotes um, open an HTML image tag image src equals and then open a single quote and close the double quotes plus what you got dot URL. So what you got is what NASA gave us and it is JSON. So dot URL is a certain value and that will be the link to the image. Plus open those double quotes again and close the single quotes. Wowzers! Yeah and style equals 
and in single quotes with colon 100% and that's just so it'll take up your whole screen semicolon and close those single quotes and then put a slash and do that and you don't close image tags close those double quotes up and put a semicolon at the end of the line yeah also why is this indented doesn't need to be indented it can be though if you want it to next line document dot get element by ID with a capital E B and I open parentheses and in quotes copyright close quotes and close parentheses dot inner HTML with a capital HTML equals and in quotes by space close quotes plus what you got dot copyright and what that does is it'll put in this little p tag it'll say by and then the name of the person who took the picture because that's what the value dot copyright does semicolon this one was faster and on the next line Yep, doing it again. Document dot get element by ID. Can you hear that? Open parentheses and in quotes title. Close quotes and close parentheses dot inner HTML. With a capital H T M and L equals, and you guessed it, maybe what you got dot title semicolon. Gotta remember the semicolon, it's very important. It totally is. Yeah, definitely. Okay, next line. We're doing it again. Document dot get element by ID and this is the last one don't worry in parentheses and in quotes explanation did I spell that right because I think I did close quotes close parentheses dot inner HTML equals what you got dot explanation See, I use the same ID as the values because I actually looked at the thing before making this video and wrote all this code. Then on the next line, close that curly brace you opened up here. And on the line up to that, close the curly brace and the parenthesis that you opened up there. And put a semicolon and close that script tag. Phew, finally. Yeah, that took a while. But the JavaScript is all accounted for. So now just save this file. Hey, look, I already set up the location. I'm pretty sure it's on my desktop. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, it's on my desktop. All right. So close out of that and open a new tab in the browser mm -hmm. and um, you're gonna want to make your browser kind of small I love Firefox and put it put, drag the file into your browser's new tab and yeah. oh okay so you're gonna want to I made a mistake down here. I accidentally pushed the wrong button. Close the curly braces there. All right, save that again. Phew. Yeah, it was a small bug, small bug. And it works. Let me close out of this console. I got the huge image and I've got who it was from. But as you'll notice, 
There is no title and no description. That's why I have was wrong. Mm. Spelled element wrong. Once. And save that again. I make little typos. Alright, now it works all the way. See, two little typos, and it didn't even work, but I fixed both typos in my code, and it's A-OK, -okay, and it works quite well. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch at cuckmancurve.gq slash shop. And, by the way, my momentum focus of the day. I don't know why it's not there. But today my main focus was go find Mel's hole. Which reminds me, remember that Mel's hole is real. Totally. Look it up.